What's up, people? How's it going? Welcome to my channel and to another video. I hope all of you had a fantastic Diwali. Uh, the weather is very, very pleasant. I think we have just passed eight o'clock. Several people in the city are still, you know, in celebratory mode. I hope we can, you know, spot some firecrackers as we navigate uh, through these parts of the city. So since the last video that I've posted, I've noticed that, you know, we've hit 150 subscribers. So all those guys who are new, welcome to the channel. I hope you guys stick around. And to all those, you know, who tune in every now and then, thanks for the support. And I hope you guys also stick around. Having said that, as I had mentioned in my previous video, I would be, you know, revisiting some of the topics that I touched upon during my initial set of videos. So this time around, I thought, uh, why don't I revisit, you know, the mysterious Ryanair uh, aircraft that got hijacked in Belarusian airspace. Uh, it probably wasn't that evident at that time, but yes, you know, the series of circumstances or the series of events that led to what happened then sure enough you know were indicative of you know some of the circumstances that are prevalent today in that part of the world so just to have a quick recap uh, this particular aircraft was scheduled to travel between uh, Greece and uh, Lithuania and its flight path you know was you know, over the airspace of Belarus. And it also happened that one of the staunchest critic of the current Belarusian regime was also on board that aircraft. And sensing this, Lukashenko, the premier of Belarus, you know, carried out an audacious operation wherein, you know, they concocted a bomb hoax wherein you know the pilot or the captain of the aircraft was informed that through various you know reputable sources they came to know that there was a bomb on the aircraft and somehow you know through various uh, means such as you know intimidating them with a fighter aircraft uh, the aircraft was forced to land in Minsk uh, international airport which happens to be in Belarus and it so happens that only five passengers you know disembarked from the aircraft uh, two of them happen to be a staunch uh, opposer of some of the policies and methodologies of you know Lukashenko so so his name happens to be Roman so Roman and his partner were you know escorted out of the aircraft and along with them apparently three more people got down and it's speculated that you know these guys are you know KGB agents which happens to be the secret police of Belarus and this incident you know though did attract some amount of coverage but most of the you know outrage that was expressed by the international community was just mere lip service i mean people said this is not acceptable uh, yada yada blah 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 but i don't really think there was anything concrete really done uh, because belarus essentially got away with it uh, i think uh, roman uh, who happens to be a dissident uh, journalist was tried in their courts and then you know the sentence for an imprisonment of eight years was awarded uh, i think uh, he struck a deal so eventually he was pardoned and uh, his partner uh, received uh, probably somewhere around six years of sentencing so i'm not exactly sure what happened to the partner because the news is very scarce but his partner sophia happens to be russian and uh, the kind of climate that's there in that part of the world it's anybody 
it's anybody's guess uh on her where abouts and what's really happening so if any any of you know about you know what's happening please don't please do leave a comment down below so that we all get to know but yeah so that's what transpired in the aftermath uh roman you know got sentenced for 8 years i guess he panicked as would anyone against state machinery and probably made a deal for which you know he got pardoned i hope he's happy and doing well but yeah i mean that's what you know eventually transpired so uh and then eventually you know we have this full scale uh, conflict that's happening in that part of the world between russian federation and republic of ukraine i hope i didn't get their names wrong and probably you know this incident was a precursor to you know what's happening right now because for somebody to have unbridled power i mean just to get away with you know all the things that one could do one really needs to you know eliminate all opposition i mean uh, anybody who seems to disagree is a fair game in such circumstances and that's what happened i mean uh, i mean that's what probably led current authoritarian regime that's there in belarus to consolidate his hold over the country and probably you know that's what you know the russian uh, situation is also all about i don't really think they have a viable uh, opposition and i guess that's what happens you know when people stick around uh, in positions of power long enough uh i don't know i mean how do they maintain sense of right and wrong i mean how do they have systems in place which are neutral unbiased and have you know integrity uh sure i mean when these guys probably took over you know their respective countries probably you know they were celebrated because they represented change but with that and you know the usual mindset of humans power corrupts even the best of us and that's what happened i guess uh, in that part of the world and i'm sure i mean it's not the last i mean there are or there are going to be plenty of examples yeah uh, elsewhere too where you know people who you know were installed or people who were elected or people who were you know welcome to their positions of power left unchecked eventually you know well become you know authoritarian figures which could lead to you know widespread conflict disagreements over things which might not really matter well i'm no one to say you know uh, what matters or what doesn't but all that i would like to say is if people in power are left unchecked and if there are no checks and balances will eventually you know will become figures of you know authoritarian regimes and usually such regimes will drive their respective countries into conflict and probably you know this particular incident the ryan airways incident was a precursor to you know what's happening right now because they got away with it and probably you know they set a precedent of you know how to deal with such incidents by you know authoritarian regimes where you know they can intimidate there you know dissenters capture them torture them and eventually convert them so yeah i mean that's what you know i wanted to say when i you know i thought i'll revisit the video and see its uh impact 
uh, with respect to what's going on right now. So that's my two cents for today. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.